हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आवर चैनल बेस्ट नोट्स ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ऑल लेटर राइटिंग सो फर्स्ट आई हैव टेकन एडिटोरियल लेटर एंड देन वी विल मूव टू अदर फॉर्मल लेटर्स इज वेल अलोंग विद एग्जाम्पल्स आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वट इज द करेक्ट पैटर्न ऑफ राइटिंग अ लेटर सो लेट्स बिगिन लेटर टू द एडिटर सो बिफोर वी मूव इन its uh, format and other things let us discuss what is it at first letter to the editor section of a newspaper or magazine forms an important part of the newspaper see students newspapers are made for general public so whatever grievances they have they should get the right to project the same in the newspaper so for that reason this section letter to the editor section is created in each and every newspaper okay such letters voices the opinion of the people so here people's likings and dislikings will be represented by the writers of that particular letter it provides them a platform to express their agreement disagreement or reaction to any matter so whether they are agreeing with the rules and regulations which government is implementing on them are they happy with the tax system are they happy with the price rise are they happy with the job they are being provided by the government so here they get the power to express their viewpoint through their letter these letters can also raise issues of social political and economic interest and generally center around public reactions here particularly the writer must mention those problems which are related to many people that will be better because here individual problems will not be given much importance because this is for publishing in the newspaper so through that one letter everybody should benefit okay it should be of other people's problem as well it should not be limited to an individual's problem so that is editorial letter they also provide a forum to the readers to express their strong feelings and reactions to local national and international issues it means there is no particular topic on which the letter should be written it is up to the writer what topic they choose they can write about local issues national issues and international issues as well so they are not limited to write things which are dictated by the editor it is up to the writer okay they are written in crisp and clear language in a matter of fact style here because the space provided is very limited therefore it should be crisp and within few words people should understand what the writer wants to convey the language is formal and to the point it should be formal okay and it should be following the norms of the newspaper they should not use vulgar language slangs etc let's move towards the format of the letter here you all have to follow formal letter format okay which we have already done in business letters and official letters here at first you will mention sender's address you will give one line gap date one line gap again receiver's address then comes gap again subject and salutation here space is not required then you will give gap again body of the letter complementary clause close and sender's address okay body of the letter which will include three paragraphs first intro details in second paragraph and in third conclusion okay then comes complementary clause and at last sender's name in complimentary close you have to write yours faithfully okay and sender's name your designation is not required there are few things that you need to remember while writing the letter to the editor letter to the editor is written for giving suggestions on an issue generally to the public it is already discussed state your reason for writing in the first paragraph and stay on track whatever is the issue you have to write in intro paragraph okay here 
you will not focus on writing your introduction rather your problems introduction should be there in the first paragraph keep in mind writer's introduction is secondary but problem should be mentioned in the first paragraph and you should not deviate from the topic you should hold that track on which you are writing and continue it with all the issues that you want to highlight always include specifics that will help ease the recipient's task you have to write those points which are relevant okay and which lessens and makes the task of the receiver easy okay while editing your problem should be visible to the reader that is editor at first okay and then they should not have problem in reading and printing of your letter it may be strongly worded but always be courteous and use polite language and pleasant tone whatever you have whatever you have to say you should say it in a formal standard manner and it should be said courteously respectfully and you should use polite language okay which will sound very pleasant so these are the instructions that you need to remember apart from these there are few more we will discuss now prime focus should be on the purpose therefore self introduction should be avoided this point i have already discussed In the first paragraph your problem should be discussed okay on what topic you are going to write the letter and your locality and your name that will be sufficient apart from that nothing required the language should be simple and straightforward and to the point here the language should be simple you should not use bombastic words because it is for the readers and newspaper readers are not from well educated background okay there are some who try to read there are some who struggle to read there are some uh, readers who are trying to gather meaning by reading one one words therefore you should not use bombastic words it should be simple and it should be able to convey your matter to them very important thing is mentioned in second last point and that is in the letter to the newspaper do not ask the editor to solve the problems he will just publish your concern in the newspaper this is the blunder that students do in the examination they say that editor should solve the issue as soon as possible which is very wrong editor's task is to publish your letter in the newspaper and the concern authority will take the action okay so keep this thing in mind in the letter to the editor use yours truly yours sincerely as a complimentary here in the complimentary close you will use yours truly yours sincerely etc out of these two you can use any one and then you will write your name that's it okay so these are the instructions now we will move to examples here i have written two examples example 1 example 2 okay so let me show you from here sender's address date receiver's address salutation subject first intro paragraph detailed paragraph detailed paragraph extended this i told you earlier also that three paragraphs are must and if you wish you can include more paragraphs in the middle section okay here in the detailed paragraph you can include more and then we conclude the letter then signatory section all right so here this is optional see this designation is given in the question so we have written this otherwise it is not required all right first example is this and here sender's address date receiver's address then comes salutation subject intro paragraph body section extended body section all right again few more details about the topic and then concluding paragraph with signatory section so these are the two examples which you all have to note it down in your copy so we will wind up today's class we will meet with some other topic till then take care and stay well